KSU goes online. For the period of March 23rd to April 13th, 2020, Kentucky State University is using remote online instruction in all courses to keep us safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. We know that you have questions and the session will address as many of your concerns as possible. And then we will have a brief question and answer session. Remember, the remote learning environment does require a greater sense of independence, dedication, and self-reliance. Now, we have been working diligently to best prepare our instructors and you for success in this online learning experience. And yet, ultimately, it is you as a student, your responsibility to maintain contact with your instructors and to fulfill all course expectations. As always, Kentucky State University will provide support for you in all ways. And yet, make sure that you continue to practice great self-care. We are here to support you. You are determined to be successful. And together, we'll make a great learning experience happen. We decided to adjust how we offer courses right now because we know that the disease, COVID-19, is spread and spread rapidly when people are together. While we don't have any cases on our campus, we also want to be sure that we don't accidentally expose anyone to the virus, if at all possible. Remote learning is using an online learning platform to provide real-time or individually accessible content for your courses. Remote learning is a way to make the course you are taking online as much as possible, like your in-person class. Now, your classes may take a variety of different formats based on the approach that your instructor is delivering. You'll find your information on screens on the Blackboard Learning Platform or maybe through real-time lectures with your professors. Your current professors will teach your classes, and if you have an instructional counselor, you will meet with them for your math and English courses. Our Paul Blazer Library has online learning tools that you can use now by going to the library website, kysu.edu slash academics slash library. Again, classes will take a variety of formats. Some of your instructors will actually have class meet at their usual times using Blackboard, Zoom, or other modalities. Do remember, if you are in a different time zone, Kentucky State is on Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to adjust your calendar to make it to class on time. Other classes will not have regular live meetings and use asynchronous means of instruction. Again, check with your instructor and your Blackboard course to identify the strategy being taken. The best ways to prepare for class include making sure you can access your Blackboard course templates, managing your time well, and asking questions. More information is provided later in this PowerPoint. If indeed you're a little nervous or not so confident about the online learning experience, remember you can always talk to your professors, the advisors in the Thoroughbred Learning Center, and you can review videos for effective online learning associated with courses that are linked in your Blackboard course shell. Inside each Blackboard course room is a link identified as Live Tutoring. This link will connect you to online tutors supporting a variety of subjects. Additionally, you may contact the Kentucky State Thoroughbred Learning Center at k 
kysu.edu slash academics slash university dash college. For those with learning disabilities, you will continue to receive accommodations by working with Dr. Clay as you normally do. You can reach him at philip, P-H-I-L-L-I-P, dot clay at K-Y-S-U dot E-D-U, or by phone 502-597-6041. Remember, online learning is self-directed. This means that you are responsible for being on time for class meetings, have access to your course materials, and stay current. Online learning is mainly reading. It is important that you take time to read course content carefully and follow written directions. You need to ask questions and ask for help if you have any trouble with the reading and writing of course assignments. You will likely find that you need to commit more time to your classes in this delivery format. Faculty and staff will post office hours and you should use your Kentucky State email address to contact faculty and staff. The Center for Emotional Wellness, formerly known as the Counseling Center, will remain fully available through virtual means for our students. We understand that you may experience some anxiety and uncertainty during these times, and your health and safety are always of paramount importance to us. You can continue to schedule counseling appointments with our staff. To do so, contact our director of the Center for Emotional Wellness, Dr. Anthony Andrews, at 704-451-1904 or anthony.andrews at kysu.edu. After contact is made, you will be linked to one of our counselors for a virtual session. The application software to be used is Zoom. This application is HIPAA compliant and free to download on any computer or mobile device. All you need is Wi-Fi access. After setting your appointment with one of our counselors, you will then be provided with a link that will give you access to the portal for your session. If you would prefer a phone, FaceTime, or other modality for counseling, feel free to discuss that with Dr. Andrews and appropriate accommodations will be made. You are highly encouraged to utilize these services if you would like support during these stressful times. Of course, all of us at Kentucky State are here to provide whatever support we can through the journey. If you do need to contact Frankfurt Regional Hospital, the number is 502-875-5240 or the National Suicide Prevention Hotline at 800-273-8255. We recognize for many of you, this is your first online course. As a remote or online learner, we offer these six strategies to foster success. One, plan for success. Log into your courses to get familiar with the course room set up now. Kentucky State uses the Blackboard Learning Management System. Number two, read the syllabus and all assignments carefully. Number three, connect with your instructor. Be proactive in getting to know the instructor and the expectations of the course. This will be your first place for questions and support. Number four, manage your time wisely. Set a consistent schedule to check in with each course. And a good practice would be to use a calendar to mark with assignments, discussions, and test due dates. Number five, participate, participate, and participate. Make sure you're active in the course. Post and submit assignments and all items on time. In discussions, participate early and frequently. Number six, use KSU student resources often and effectively. KSU's online library, the Thoroughbred Learning Center, Veterans Affairs, live tutoring services are all listed in your course room. If you have any challenges or problems, number one, begin with your instructor. This is always the first place to check should you need assistance. Number two, you can contact the Thoroughbred Learning Center. Number three, take advantage of the live tutoring link in your course room. Number four, if you need help with Blackboard, select the 24-hour Blackboard support link that's inside the course room. 
and 5. If you need tips on using Blackboard, quick instructional videos are available in the course room or links from the Kentucky State website. Remember, active participation is part of your success plan. Discussions and course assignments deepen your understanding of the course content. And yes, instructors will list the expectations and due dates for all discussions, assignments, papers, etc. You are responsible for submitting on time to receive. Remember, you are Thoroughbreds, bred for success. Please continue to stay safe and healthy using soap and water and sanitizer to wash, maintaining social distance, and staying positive to this exciting journey. We are always here at Kentucky State to support you and expect and look forward to your success.